to change hair color, first uh, select the magnifying tool. Now select as much of the hair as you can in um, one screen. Then you'll see in the bottom left hand side of the toolbar an option that says mask mode. Then select it, then select a brush. And then just make this start covering the hair. Make it as big a diameter as you can for the parts that it's in. Now I'm only doing this roughly for the sake of the video, but if you want it to look as good as it can, you got to take more time and get every single bit of hair that you can into it. It takes some time to select it all, and you can only get good with practice, so the more you do it, the better you'll be. As you can see, I just changed it smaller so I can select the hair better. This tool can also be used for changing eye color and skin color. Basically, you just do the same thing. Um, for eyes, you select the eye and lips, the lips, and then just follow the same steps as changing the hair when you finish selecting it all in masking mode. As you can see, I've gone off the edges there. That's because I'm doing this for the sake of time, so it doesn't take too long. Just touching off the last bits that I've missed. Now select the magic wand tool, and select the hair. I kind of screwed that one up, so I'll have to do it again. Now if you want to make this look even better, you have to spend all the time doing cutouts and adding to the selection so the hair is selected properly. Now here you go to layer, and then you fill layer, solid color. Now you got to change it to soft light so it's not too heavily coloured. Make it hair layer or something. Now just select the colour. As you can see in the background the hair is changing colour. And that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.